Hi friends, so welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity, uh, troubleshooting static routes from CCNA routing and switching. Here we can see our topology and uh, we have our addressing table. Uh, in this uh, packet tracer, uh, we are going to troubleshoot static routes. So we are going to locate the problem. Uh, we will determine the solution, implement the solution and finally we are going to verify that the issue is resolved. We will come to uh, part 1. Uh, locate the problem. PC1 cannot access files on the server. Uh, locate the problem using the appropriate show commands on all uh, routers and any troubleshooting commands on the PCs that you have learned from previous chapters coming to the topology here we can see the entity wise so pc1 uh, this pc1 is unable to uh, uh, connect to this uh, server so first of all i am going to check the connectivity coming to the ip address of uh, this server here we can see that now we will come to pc1 We will go to uh, command prompt and we will ping to the server, ping and the IP address of that server. We are waiting for the reply. We can see we are getting request timed out. We will wait some more moment. Yes, we are getting still request timed out. That means this uh, entity device PC1 is unable to communicate to you know, the web server. I mean this server. Yes, here we can see uh, the packet sent and received zero loss, zero hundred percentage loss. Before uh, going to uh, show commands on each routers, uh, here in this topology we can see uh, coming to R1. Uh, this uh, router uh, got uh, two directly connected networks and uh, three. Your remote networks so these three net uh, three networks uh, should be there in this r1 uh, configured as a static route and uh, coming to uh, router 2 we can see three directly connected networks and uh, two remote networks uh, we have to teach these two networks uh, i mean this already uh, um, taught uh, on r2 these two networks we, uh, we have to verify that uh, coming to R3, we can see two directly connected networks and uh, three remote networks. So these three uh, remote networks should be uh, configured uh, in this uh, uh, R3. We will verify uh, on each router so using uh, show IP route coming to R1. enable here we are going to give the command show ip root uh, first of all i am going to uh, see the uh, connected uh, connected networks yes we have two directly connected networks now we'll go to show ip root static so three networks should be there in static yes here we can see that now we are going to verify these uh, static routes are uh, configured correctly. Uh, so coming to R1, uh, we can see uh, the exit interface uh, for all these uh, remote network keys uh, uh, is this. We can see serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and uh, here we can see yes it is uh, configured correctly. Now we will uh, check uh, the network address from each remote networks. Uh, here we can see 172.31.0.0 slash 24. So coming to the routing table, yes, here we can see that 172.31.0.0 slash 24. It's correct. And we have one more here 172.31.1.128 slash 26. Yes, here we can see that. And uh, one more remote network that is 172.31.1.196, yes, slash 30. So this uh, uh, routing table uh, is uh, correct. Now we will go to router R2 and we will verify, enable, we will give a show IP route 
connected so that we can see all the connected uh, networks in this uh, router yes we have uh, three connected uh, networks uh, in this uh, router r2 and we will give show ip route static yes we have uh, two uh, static networks uh, configured and uh, we will verify one by one now we will come to uh, the first uh, static route in this uh, routing table here we can see 172.31.1.0 slash 25 yes we will uh, check that network here yes, see here it is so obviously from r2 to this network the next hop address will be the ip address of uh, this interface on r1 so we have to verify the ip address of this interface that is uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 we will check the IP address of this interface. Okay, show IP interface brief. Here we can see the IP address of serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 that is 172.31.1.194. Yes, 1.194. Oh, yes. Here we can see it is configured uh, incorrectly. So it should be 194, not 198. So this is the uh, one problem what we identified. We will see the next uh, static uh, route here 172.31.1.128 slash 26. Yes, here it is. So it's via 172.31.1.194 so from r2 to this network uh, obviously the uh, this uh, next hope address is the ip address of this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 on r3 so we will uh, verify that we can see it is configured wrongly 194 because they given the network address as 196 so this is a network address and we can see the prefix length as 30 so here the usable IP address will be only 2, 197 and 198. So these two address we cannot see here. It is 194. So anyway, we will verify the IP address. Enable show IP interface brief. Yes, here we can see the IP address. It is 1.198. But here they given 1.194. Yes, here we can see on R2, the static route, uh, uh, I mean the next hop address is uh, configured incorrectly. Now we will go to R3. Here we will give show IP route connected. Yes, we can see two connected networks on R3. Yes, it's correct. Now we will give show IP route static uh, that should be 3. Oh, it is 2. We can see uh, for R3 we have 3 uh, remote networks and we, we must be configured. These 3 must be configured as a static route uh, in this uh, R3. But here we can see only 2 static route. So this one more static route should, uh, should be configured on uh, uh, R3. Also, we will verify whatever uh, configured here. We can see 172.31.0.0. Yes, here it is. So 172.31.0.0 slash 24. And uh, it is via serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Yes, it's correct. This is the exit interface. And uh, here is uh, 172.31.1.192 slash 30. Yes, here we can see that. And here also the exit interface is serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. And we can see this network is missing. We have to configure uh, this network on R3 as a static uh, route. Now we will go to uh, what are the sum of the troubleshooting commands on routers and PCs that can be used to identify the source of the problem okay already we have seen some uh, show commands uh, we can use uh, show ip root uh, show running config uh, we can use a trace root trace root. also we can use ping etc etc yes well now we will go to part two determine the solution after you have located the problems that is uh, preventing pc1 from accessing files from the server fill in the table below 
so here uh, actually we got two problems uh, so we, we have to uh, fill out this uh, problem and its solution we know that our first problem uh, was uh, the static roots on R2 are both using the incorrect uh, next to hop address. So obviously we have to remove that uh, incorrect uh, next to hop address and we have to give the correct next to hop uh, router address. And we know the second problem uh, was there is no root listed in R3 for the R1 LAN. So we have to add a static root on R3. Uh, to uh, this R1 LAN. Now we will come to uh, part 3. Implement the solution. Uh, if there are any misconfigured static routes, you must remove them before the correct ones can be added to the configuration. Okay, uh, we have seen on R2 uh, uh, there was a uh, incorrect uh, next to our patras we must remove that and we have to configure it and add any missing static routes by configuring directly attached routes okay we will do uh, we will implement uh, these uh, solutions now we will come to r2 and we will remove uh, the misconfigured static routes coming to r2 first of all i am going to uh, see the running config so that very easily we can remove it Yes, here we can see that. I'm going to configure terminal. Here I'm going to give no. Here I'm going to copy this line so it will be more easy. Okay, here I'm going to paste it. Press enter. And I'm going to remove the second one. IP root. Copy. We are going to paste it. yes we will verify whether this uh, uh, is uh, removed from the routing table or not so ip root static yes now we can see it is empty and we can see only the connected so show ip root yes now we will give the correct configuration configure terminal i am going to use the previous command coming to the beginning of the line here I am going to remove no and going to the end uh, actually this is 194 I am going to change it to 194 yes and uh, we have uh, 194 we have to change it to 198 so coming to the starting line using control A going to remove no now we'll go to the end of this line control E here it is 198 yes now we will verify this uh, show IP root or we will give show IP root static only yes here we can see that now we will come to R3 and we will add the missing static root on R3 okay enable configure terminal we are going to IP root and here we can see the IP address that is 172.31.1.0 and the subnet to mask here we can see the prefix length is slash 25 so here we have to give 255.255.255.128 and now we have to specify the exit interface here the exit interface from R3 to this R1 LAN is uh, uh, this interface that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 we will specify that here serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 right coming to the last part uh, verify that the issue is resolved ping, fr uh, ping from the PC to the server okay we will uh, ping from this uh, PC 1 to this uh, server here is the IP address of uh, uh, server uh, coming to PC1 command prompt. Yes, here itself we have. Yes, we are getting the replay to the server. Open a web connection to the server. After you correctly identify and implement the correct solution to the problem, you will receive a message in the web browser when you connect to the server. Okay, we will check coming to PC1. Here is our web browser. 
and here I am going to give the IP address of our uh, uh, server yes here we got the message troubleshooting static roads congratulations yes also we will verify from uh, PC2 IP address of server yes yes that's all in this uh, packet tracer troubleshooting static routes friends if you have any doubt please comment below also if you like my videos give a thumb and you can subscribe my channel so that you will get my future videos thank you